Token sales and initial coin offerings are disrupting the venture capital space and represent a new way of financing blockchain-based startups. This infographic shows you many of the initial coin offerings that were seen in 2016. Many raised more than $5 million, with the largest being $160 million. In 2016, almost $500 million of funds were raised for blockchain-based startups from the venture capital community. Token sales and initial coin offerings raised nearly $300 million. There are currently 850 cryptocurrencies available to buy on the market. Most started with some form of ICO or token sale. The most notorious is that of Bitcoin, which went from nothing in January 2009 to currently being at over $1,000 now. Other cryptocurrencies are exchanged on over 40 global cryptocurrency exchanges worldwide. Usually these are expressed as a portion of a Bitcoin. So what is a token sale or initial coin offering? Token sales and especially initial coin offerings, ICOs, are often described as IPOs for cryptocurrencies. But this can be very misleading. The IPO label implies cryptocurrencies could be seen as a security or an equity whereas in fact most token sales and ICOs are in fact very different. If we think of a traditional crowdfunding campaign, something like Flowhive that raised over $13 million, the way they raised their funds to produce the product was through pre-orders from future customers. Now think of crowdfunding for blockchain-based software platforms. Back in late 2014, Ethereum launched their smart contract software platform, and they started a crowdfunding campaign to do so. The way in which the Ethereum platform works is that every time a smart contract is run, a small fee is paid to run that contract in Ethereum's cryptocurrency called Ether. The more successful the platform, the more smart contracts are run and the more Ethereum cryptocurrency is required. But there's a third dimension to this style of crowdfunding. The more successful the platform, the greater the demand for the cryptocurrency and generally the higher the market price at the cryptocurrency exchanges. The more successful the platform, the greater the market capitalization the platform has. Like with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, there could be a capital appreciation as the result of a platform's success. For example, Ethereum's initial sale price at their original crowd sale was around 35 cents. Today, they trade at over $50 each. But not all cryptocurrency coins are successful and not all have high market capitalizations. The final point to notice is that the cryptocurrency space is unregulated, but this is beginning to change. The issue is that the label ICO plus the idea capital gain makes many regulators ask the question, is this an investment? And clearly with any investment, there are formal regulations in place. As a result, in the absence of regulation, the industry is seeking to generate more professional thoughts and ideas. As a result, business models are now focused on the cryptocurrency token being an intrinsic part of the platform being developed. More often than not, prototypes or alpha versions of the platform are often released prior to the token sale. Any features implying the cryptocurrency token acts like a security are removed, for example, voting rights or share of profits. Indeed, many ICOs are formally relabeling themselves as token sales. And token sales supporters are buying the future use of the platform and not an equity stake in the business behind the platform. And finally, any capital appreciation is a byproduct of the platform's success, not its core value proposition. In many cases, token sales have completely replaced traditional equity financing rounds. So in summary, token sales are increasingly gaining traction. They're not formally regulated as yet. They may still fall under existing securities law globally, and they require very careful legal consideration. As a result of many requests by those trying to understand more about the blockchain space in general and this innovative style of fundraising, we are creating our own diary of our journey through the Veridictum.io token sale, looking at all the issues we have to face to make a successful token sale. These will range from regulation and marketing through to the very crypto economics of the platform itself. Please note this is, however, for educational purposes only.